Rose, and I am back with a Diamond Painting 411 How To video. So the Diamond Painting 411 series, 411 in Canada and maybe the US, is the number that we dial for information. Uh, it's directory assistance actually, but what the heck, I call it information. So it's Diamond Painting Information. And uh, so this, I just asked a friend, I sent her a picture of this and asked her to guess what I was going to be doing with this stuff. And she said, uh, hang a picture. And I said, no, I'll send you the video when I'm done. Um, so I'm going to record the video now. And this Diamond Painting 411 is how to get those nasty stuck ends of broken off diamond painting uh, uh, multi-placers out of your expensive custom drill pens. This one's not a custom, this is like a mass produced one, but it, you know, it's still, you know, is more expensive than your regular pink pen. So, um, I have a whole bunch of stuff here, and I'm going to just do the whole thing from start to finish. I'm gonna start with this one here because I, of all the ones that I would hate to lose, this one is the one that I would hate to lose the least. So if I make a mistake, I'll make it with this one. Okay, so I charged up my drill. And this is a drill my father gave me uh, just before he passed away. And these are all the drill bits that he gave me. And I have tons and tons of little tiny drills as well as, you know, all the bigger sizes of drills. Uh, drill bits, rather. And so what I'm going to do, I have these toothpicks here. And what I want is to drill a hole that's about the size of the toothpick. Now this drill bit is just a little bit narrower than the toothpick. This one is exactly the same size as the toothpick. Maybe a tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit bigger, but that's what I got the gor Gorilla Glue ah, That's what I've got the Gorilla Glue for. So, just drop this back in here. Okay, there we go. Oh, and apparently I have another tiny little drill in here that's super, super short. Anyway, okay, uh, I'm not gonna worry about that for now. All right, so it's important not to drill a hole that's too big. Uh, and so, I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit here. No, that's zooming out wrong way. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so that we can, um, so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm just tightening this chuck around the uh, the drill bit, and oh no, that's loosening. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. Okay. but I am directionally challenged. So let me just, okay, there we go, Not too much. All right. Okay, that's about as tight as it's gonna go. Okay, and it's important that it go in there straight because you don't want to be wobbly when you're drilling. So I'm gonna go very slow. Well, this doesn't actually, okay. So this one, it does let me go kind of slow because I wanna be very careful. Now, if I had a vise to hold this steady, that would be the absolute best thing, but I don't. So, um, and I, want to look at this with my eyes so I'm going to make sure I'm in the frame but what's really important to me is making sure that when I drill this hole I'm not drilling my finger or anything like that.
That did not go very deep. Okay, that's all the way through. That's good. Get rid of that excess there. Drop that in the trash. Okay, so now, uh, now that did go all the way through, so I have to be careful not to get uh, crazy glue. Yeah, this will. I think this will work fine. What I'm going to do is um, just break the tip off of this toothpick because I don't want like a narrow piece. I want just the tight pieces, uh, just the uh, thicker piece. So there we go. I broke the tip off. Get rid of the tip. And I didn't break it in half because I want to have as long a piece as possible. And I'm doing this on my um, silicone baking mats because uh, nothing sticks to them. Okay, and I just dropped my toothpick. Oh, and look. I found a drill for the diamond painting I'm working on. Okay. All right, so I'll just put that there. I'm going to use the uh, the brush end of this. And what I'm going to do, so this is Gorilla Glue, super glue. I'm not sure I love this stuff, actually. Um, but it is what I have. So I'm just brushing the very end of this. Don't need a lot. Okay, and now I'm gonna push this in. I don't wanna push it all the way down because I don't want it to, um, I don't want it to stick to the bottom of the, of the hole that the drill, that the um, multi-placer end fits into. So I'm just gonna let that dry. There we go. Uh, I'll close this up again. There we go. And that worked okay. So now I'm gonna do exactly the same thing with this drill bit. Now you can see I tried to pick it out and that did not work. So let's try drilling it out. Now this one here I got from Jim's Handmade Pens on, Ali, on Etsy. And I really, really like it. It's one of my favorites. I love my pens that I get from, um, we have a handle on this. Uh, and um, I'll probably continue to buy for that from them because they are a Canadian company. And uh, they just, they give outstanding service. Jim's also gives very, very good service. Um, but... I'll buy from a Canadian company since I'm Canadian. And I bought, uh, I've bought drill pens from other Canadian companies as well, but, uh, but the, I like the ones from, we have a handle on this, the best of the ones that I've bought from Canada. Okay, so I'm gonna drill. So I'm just gonna start off slow. Whoop, no, not too slow. Because what I wanna do is make sure it's more or less. No, that's not working. And it's not working because uh, it didn't break off even, and so it's sliding off to the edge. Okay, better. Okay, um, you can always feel, of course, when you get to the end of the drill bit. Okay, so now I'm going to uh, remove the battery from this, uh, just because I don't want to uh, risk doing anything bad to myself. And I am now done with this drill bit. So I take it out. 
around, I put it away. I like to clean as I go, uh, regardless of what I'm doing. So when I'm cooking, I clean as I go. When I'm uh, drilling, I clean as I go. And isn't it funny, I'm actually drilling now. Okay, I'm gonna pause and I'll be back in a minute once I put my drill and drill bits away. Nope, decided what I'm gonna do first is um, crazy glue the toothpick into the drill pen. So there, just breaking off the tip so that I have a pretty much, um, like it's at the thickest part. And now, once again, just, I just want to clean off that extra bit of yuck there. Um, okay. So, yeah, I don't love the way that the brush is kind of all flared out. Okay, done. I'll close that properly in a second. Okay, stick this in here. There we go. And I did drill that hole pretty well so that it's, uh, I mean, you know, you see it's not perfectly straight, but it's pretty straight. This one here, I did a good job of drilling it almost perfectly straight. Okay, so let's close this up nice and tight. And we can put away the glue. And like I said, I'm gonna put away the drills, uh, the drill bits rather, and the drill. Okay, so I have here everything that I need to complete this video. Uh, so I, I'm waiting, I've set a timer for 15 minutes to allow the crazy glue or the whatever, yeah, super glue, whatever, the Gorilla Glue to dry. I think it's probably already dry now, but I'm just gonna use an abundance of patience and let this sit for 15 minutes. And what I have here is uh, one of the three drill pens that I just bought about a week or two ago, well, about a month ago I ordered them from We Have a Handle on this. And um, I haven't actually started using this one yet because I haven't put a uh, multi-placer in the end. I've just ordered 57 placers from AliExpress and I'll put the link to, this, to the item that I ordered uh, in the video down below so that if you want to, you can too. So we have a handle on this allows you to um, order your drill pens. Like they all come with a single placer on, like that's permanently attached to one end, like that's super glued in there. Uh, and these are stainless steel tips that we have a handle on this now uses. And then in the end, they let you put a single placer, a multi, a double placer or a triple placer in the other end of the pen. So for one of my pens that I recently got, I got a three placer uh, with stainless steel that's crazy, that's super glued in there. And I got um, two that just have the holes drilled in them. So I haven't actually filled this one yet, but I'll, uh, I'll be putting uh, an end in there as soon as my timer goes off. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this video again until the timer goes, and then we'll be back. Meanwhile, I'm going to work on my uh, diamond painting that I have going here. And I'll show you what it is. It is the stained glass rose that I just unboxed. And the reason that I uh, posted this unboxing video uh, a few days ago was because the painting came up in a penny pick um, and I hadn't yet posted the unboxing video. So there you go. So I'm, I'm, I'll be half done by the time I finish the red here. So I'll just continue working on this and come back to you when the dinner goes. Okay, it's been longer than 15 minutes because I wanted to actually finish drilling this, uh, the rose, um, but it hasn't been too, too much longer than 15 minutes. So let's get back 
to the business of seeing whether this works. Now, this was uh, suggested to me by a viewer. Um, and so I am trying my viewer's suggestion. Oh my God, look at that. It worked perfectly. <gasps> so excited. Look at that. Oh, I just broke off the, the um, toothpick. But there's the stub pulled nice and cleanly out of there. And... Oh, okay, I had stuffed um, something in here because it was uh, it was a little bit loose, so I had used some uh, I don't know washi tape or something like that to to help secure the tip in there. Okay, so let's try this one now. And so I'm just pulling straight out. That one didn't work. Nope. That one didn't work. Why didn't it work? I don't know. Okay, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try that again with this one um, so it didn't get yanked out. Um, hmm. That is a real big disappointment. And there's not enough of the toothpick left to yank out. So I'm going to have to file that down. Uh, I'll show you what I'm going to do. So I have a Dremel that I bought actually to grind my dog's nails, uh, but she won't let me anywhere near her with this. So I'm just gonna use it to grind down the uh, toothpick. There, okay. All right. And um, I'll, I'll get the drill out again. Shouldn't have put it away. Uh, I'll get the drill out again and set it up and try this again with another toothpick. Um, but at least I got one out. So I'm going to put you on, I'm going to pause again while I redo the drilling on this one and stick another toothpick in. I'm going to do it the same way uh, so you won't notice any difference. Um, and I'll come back to you when it's when it's dried, and I'll try and pull it out again. Um, I'm gonna try something a little bit different with this one, though. What I'm gonna do is okay. Sorry, you guys. I, I haven't I haven't prepared this in advance, so I have a. Sort of, this is just like a handy dandy uh, place where I store leftover stuff. Okay, so I'm just going to use this, like screws and all sorts of hooks, all kinds of stuff. Uh, so, what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to drill a hole. You know what? I'll do it on camera. Just a sec. Okay, so I always store my drill with the uh, battery um, separated. Okay, there we go. Yeah, that works. Um, and now, oh, this is not opening properly. Something stuck. There we go. Okay. So now I need a drill bit that is as thick around as that. Let's see. That'll do. Oops. Let's get that out of the way. So again, I want this to go in here perfectly 
um, straight. Okay. Yeah. Okay, so this is a little bit wider a hole that's going to be drilled than the last one. I start small because if it slips off, I don't want it to uh, hurt my finger. Okay, it's hard getting a start there because it's... Oops. Uh, it's hard to get a start going, but I'll get a start going. I'll get it going. Okay, let's keep going. Patience. Patience. See, there's just a little divot. So. in. Yeah, that, that works. Okay, now let's see if I can just pull it out. Ta-da! Look at that! It worked! It worked. I actually like using this thing. I don't have to use the pliers. Okay, so that is, and I can keep my little L-hook. Okay, so I'll get rid of that. And once again, I'm going to remove the battery. Okay. I should have actually not put the drill bit in until before I had the battery on. That was bad form. Um, put my drill back put my drill bit back okay and put this all back in my little bag okay so um there is i've put everything away that i don't need uh but there is the plastic sort of dust sawdust uh from the plastic that i'm going to go rinse off um and i'll just be back in a minute okay so uh i'm ready to go and uh, since I already have a multi-placer on the end of this, what I need to stick in there is a single placer. Yeah. Okay, so I got a single placer in there. I'm not worried about this not uh, like coming, um, breaking off uh, because the plastic is a lot softer. So I, I'm not worried about that at all. So I'm just going to press it in. There we go. So now I have a beautiful um, multi-placer there. I don't need those spare tips anymore, the single placers. Um, so here I have all my multi-placers. Whenever I get a kit that has uh, multi-placers, I, um, I separate... Ah! separate them out into separate bags uh, according to their size and um, the bag was not properly sealed so what I want here is I want my I have one seven placer left like I said I have ordered another 50 seven placers because they're my favorite and I do like these ones that are plastic, like this. Um, and I guess I'll get, this is a 10 placer. All right, I'll, I'll figure out how to use 10 placers. It's the same kind, it's the thin, the thin walled 
ones. Now these are quite brittle, so if I like these, I'll have to order a whole bunch more um, because uh, these white plastic ones, they do break off quite easily. So, um, and that's because I use my multi-placer tips as pushers as well as placers. And I've got more, I've got more of that um, dental floss in with the tips. Now I looked everywhere for it and I never thought of looking in with the tips, so I'm not going to store this one with the tips. I'm going to store it with some other stuff. Okay, oh, just a second. All right, so some of you might have seen me do this next part of the video. It took me a little while to get it right. But some of you might have seen it when you, uh, if you watched the unboxing, my last unboxing for the We Have a Handle on This Pens, uh, because I did experiment with different things to, um, to save me if I had a situation where I had another tip, like tip break off and then have, you know, the end stuck in there. I would like to avoid that happening. I mean, I've shown you what to do if it does happen and you get a, a, an end stuck in your uh, multi-placer end of your pen. Um, but in the best of all worlds, we would not have that happen. In fact, what we would have happen, I just want to make these two about the same size. Uh, in fact, what we would have happen is we would have an easier way to pull out stuck drill tips. All right. So what I've discovered is that this Sunstar, it used to be called Butler uh, Gum Expanding Dental Floss, works miracles and all you need to do is and I've got long ends I'll show you why all you need to do is lay that across the opening to your pen in an X shape. Oops, where is it? There we go. Find the middle more or less. Okay, there we go. This doesn't have to be absolutely perfect. You just want to make sure that um, it crosses sort of in the middle. There. And then take your drill tip, your multi placer tip. Stick it in. All right. Now, you've got all these bits here, okay? What I do is I just wrap them around and then tape them in place. There we go. Okay? So now I have a multi-placer that has that X of dental floss. Why do I want that? I'll show you why. Okay, because all you do then is you pull off the tape. When, like if, if your end breaks off and you've got a stub stuck in there again. So what you do, you... Winding evenly. Okay, there we go. Okay. So I've got my four pieces of dental floss uh, coming out. There was an X sort of along the bottom of the drill thing. And then I can use the leverage from wrapping the dental floss around my finger to pull that stub out. So we're just I'm just going to put this back in here once again. This is actually the fussiest part of this whole thing is making the X with the dental floss. 
All right. And there we go. All right. And that actually also holds the tip in there nicely. I mean, it, it, it's not, it doesn't look as beautiful as it would if you didn't do this, but I will take being able to remove a broken multiplacer easily over the aesthetic beauty of the way that the drill, that the multiplacer fits in there over having a stuck end any day of the week. So I'll just do the same thing again here. fairly long pieces but I probably don't need pieces quite that long but that's okay I'm gonna cut this actually I'm not gonna cut it I don't need to cut it okay like I say this is the most awkward part different people have suggested different ways of making this less awkward um, you could use tape to hold the dental floss down where you want it well, let me show you what I mean. Get a little bit of tape. I think I got this tape at the dollar store. It's not actually washi tape. I think it was gift wrap tape at Christmas time or something like that. They had it in a whole bunch of different colors, but I use it as uh, washi tape. See? Oops. No, you can't see. Just a sec. There. See? I use it as uh, washi tape. Okay. So, let's try this again. Well, the other thing you could do is tape it to... the not sure I like this way as well okay so I'm taping the first one down onto the um, oops onto the uh, multiplacer and the second one I, I will just lie across here and just hold it with my hands more or less in the middle there we go and I do want to make an X pattern with this there okay so now let's now I would have removed this washi tape if uh, if I was uh, if I was not actually just demonstrating what happens for you, but there we go. That one worked well, and it pulled the stub out of there. So I'm just going to move this back on there so that there's an X. I'm going to stick it back in. Now I'm going to remove this washi tape. And make sure this is nice and pressed in nice and tight. The white dental floss doesn't show up too much on the end of the pen, so that aesthetically it's a little bit more pleasing. It's not going to be perfect, but Again, my desire here is just to keep the ends of that dental floss um, out of the way while I'm diamond painting. Um, I can live with, you know, the tape on the end of the pen here. Uh, some people wouldn't be able to, in which case, you know, you might want to come up with something else. But you do need long enough ends on that dental floss so that you can get some leverage when you pull out that tip. And there you go, everybody. That 
is how you uh, drill out bad, broken uh, tips, multiplacer tips, and it's also how you can help to ensure that you will never again need to use a drill to get your multiplacer stubs out. Now I'm actually going to uh, do that with this. I don't I don't use these very much because I don't like the clear plastic ones very much. Uh, but just in case, I want to make sure that um, if it does break off, I've got uh, my secret weapon here. So let me just stick that in. And this I'm going to do a little bit differently. Stick in one first. Oh no, no, that doesn't work because it comes out with the uh, with the stub. All right. There's the middle, or less the middle. Like I say, this is the awkward part. If you can get this part, you can get the whole thing, and it works like a charm. So I'm going to push that into the center a little tiny bit. It's mostly perfect. Okay, good. I now have three drill pens that I am not going to be worried about the tips breaking off and wasting a perfectly good diamond painting pen. Isn't that fantastic, everybody? All right, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please l don't forget to give it a like. And I would love to get your comments. So please do include any comments that you might have down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, you can go ahead and do that right now. And also, I have a Patreon account for people who like to support my channel. For $2 per month, American, or £2 Brit uh, British Sterling, or €2 Euros a month, you can support my channel and help me to be able to continue making the kinds of videos that you enjoy. Thanks, everybody. I'll be back with you again real soon with another diamond painting video. Bye-bye.